I'm back. <laughs> How is everybody? Oh, my hair. Avery annoyed me, if you couldn't tell, by the bagel-making video. She fell off the chair, and she's putting her hand in front of the camera, and told everybody I made a mess. I'm, yes, I'm glad she's feeling better, but she really annoyed me in that video. She normally listens better. I guess she's feeling better, so she was a little ornery, I should say. Hi, Renee. Let's let a few people come on. Um, if you wouldn't mind, just do the comment. I do that with every video. And right now it is 1.20 Saturday. I even said Sunday in the last video because she had me, like, so annoyed. It's Saturday. 1.21 p.m. in New Jersey. We're going to look at these bagels. They look really good. Hey, Christina, thank you. My whole kind of cooked together, so there's no hole in our bagel anymore, but they look good. They sound good. Let's see. And she's back. Hey, guys! Alright, stop. So we're going to cut into the bagels once a few people come on here. Hi, Jennifer. And later on, someone messaged me. Is that you, Brenda? Let's check. I have a feeling it's Brenda. Yep, it's Brenda. So, we're going to cut into these bagels. We have quite a few people on here. I've never made them before. A lot of you guys love them. So, I'm going to see what all the hype is about, okay? They look really pretty. Well, Tanya, the button that you hit is not for me to request you to get notifications. If I were to approve it, I see it there too. I saw that you requested that. If I were to click that, it means you're going to be live with me. And a little screen pops up and we can talk to each other right now live. So that's what that button is. Look somewhere else on your tablet or your phone or however you're watching. It should say, give me notifications when Nicole is live. So the button you pressed is going to bring you on camera. So just be aware of that. Hi, Dan, my man. It's Saturday. You know what that means. Do you got your beer? I got my fake beer, as you call it. Hi, Michelle. Say hi to Rob and all the kids. All right, we have enough people on here. We're going to look at these bagels. You ready? Here we go. Look how pretty they are. And see how my hole? There is no more hole. So, they look more like rolls, but they're bagels. And the video is on there. And again, sorry for all the interruptions from Avery. Everyone's telling me don't worry about it, but it did. It annoyed me. I like to do this and cook. I don't want her intruding that much. So, let me set you up here. I'm going to get a knife, we're going to cut one open, and we're going to taste one. I never had one. I want to know what they taste like. Is it really a bagel? Can I make a sandwich? Will Joey eat them? Even the bottoms look good, see? Actually, it looks browner on camera. It's not that brown. All right, let's cut one open. Ready? We're going to cut one open. Oh, it cuts nice. Look at the insides. They look pretty good. Almost like an English muffin. The texture even feels like an English muffin. And I already have my Kerrygold butter out. We're going to put some of that on here. And let's see, the video is already on the page of how we made these with the fat head dough. You can also use them for pizza. You can use it for Hot Pockets. People were asking that haven't made it. So um, definitely try it out. It's very versatile. So here is our first attempt at tasting one of these bagels. So let's see. Okay. It's definitely a keeper. You guys were right. I don't feel it's like a bagel. You know when you bite into a bagel and it's almost hard, you have to like bite it, you know, get that piece off. These are more like a roll. And it's not eggy. You people are going to ask. I know people are going to ask. It's not eggy at all. It's very good. I like it a lot. And I'm glad that I put a little bit of salt in there. You know what I would do? I'd make them even smaller. We did six. Maybe I would do ten and make little rolls. They're, they're a great alternative. I'm glad that you guys rave about them so much. I'm glad I finally made them. Mm. That's a keeper. 
I'm going to keep chewing in your face, so let me put them over here. Chicken salad would be awesome on it. Tuna fish with an egg. Someone said that. Tuna, mayonnaise, hard-boiled egg. It's the bomb. Put it on here. Yes, I will be making these often, I think. And I'm going to give one to my dad. He's doing pretty well, and he's trying to do right by his, bite it, his diet. So I'm going to give him some of these. Definitely a keeper. So thank you, guys. Um, let's see. Now we can read that I'm not being bothered by Miss Avery. Allison, just joining. Are those five-ingredient bagels? I don't know what that means. <laughs> But they're fathead bagels, and I will show you the recipe. I wrote it down because things I like I write down and put in my book that everybody wants but is not available yet. We'll see what the future holds. But here it is. See? And I'm going to put it in the comments, and it is already in the comments of the actual video. We made these together earlier, but this is the fathead bagel dough. Chicken salad, yes. Hello, Rose. I love you, Brenda. I'm going to relax. I know you got my messages. Hi, Liz. So you all got that here? Yes, I did spray my parchment paper. And again, this is going to be in the comments. So I'm glad that you all enjoyed. And do you want to see in live time those awesome breadcrumbs I made? I took the lavish bread. Joey, let's see what he thinks. Can I pass for a bagel? Sure. Yeah, he's sick, so he doesn't have a voice. I don't have much of a voice. Sound like Wait, a robot. Daddy's six? He's not six. So you like them? Are they good? Mom, good. I'm seven. Put some jelly or something on it. Mm -hmm. Toast them. Toast them. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, we got a winner. I'm seven. You're four. Four. I was a perfect kid, Dan. The man. <laughs> Look at these breadcrumbs I made. You ready? Look, breadcrumbs out of the lavish bread. Now, someone else asked earlier, and I sent her the pictures, so let me grab. She does not look like him, Nicole. <laughs> she looks like me. No, I'm lying. <laughs> Here's the lavish bread. I get it at Walmart. I sprayed it with Pam, put it on a piece of parchment plate paper, flipped it over, sprayed the other side with Pam, 350 and watch it. I rotated it, like flipped it over after three to five minutes and then I broke it up and put it in my food processor and bam, we have breadcrumbs. See, here's the back. Don't look at the misprint. Everyone's talking about the damn misprint. The company screwed up, okay? It happens. There you go. That's our lavish bread. You can make pizza. We also make chips. Here's my bag of lavish bread chips. Some are seasoned with Old Bay. Some are seasoned with sun-dried basil tomato pesto, um, sun-dried basil tomato seasoning. And I've also made garlic. So absolutely, if you can find these lavish bread, find them. If you can't, hit one of us up. Maybe we can ship you some. You never know. So I really did enjoy those bagels. I think I'm going to make them a lot. Brenda, also, you can use um, cinnamon and Splenda on your chips, too. It works very well. Very yummy. And it, Renee says it's gluten-free. Holler back. Hi, Joy. You're late, but it's okay. I still love you. Um, let's see. Allison likes some toasted. Natasha says they're yummy. Yes, Mary, I did spray the parchment paper. All right, guys, so definitely try the bagels out. They're very good. Later on today, we're going to be live with the chicken cordon bleu. I'm making my mom's version, but I'm making it low carb. And I am using this soup. You don't have to. If you want to make your own cheddar cheese sauce, go ahead. Cream cheese, cheddar, and heavy cream. But I'm using this because it's easier. Campbell's cheddar soup with a little bit of heavy cream. And that's going to be our sauce to go um, on our chicken. Allison, I don't think it's gluten-free. She said it is, but... I don't see on the package where it says gluten free. I don't I don't think the lavish bread is gluten free to be honest with you. No. It doesn't it doesn't say that it's gluten free, so I don't believe it is. But it is very good, so definitely look for it. And as always, check the files. There's tons of recipes in the files. Look for the videos on the page. 
Um, look for the videos that we have done on the YouTube channel. I always do them live here and I upload to the YouTube channel, Nikki's Low Carb Cooking. So definitely check that out. And um, tonight we'll do the chicken cordon bleu. Woo -woo! So guys, enjoy. I'm going to take a break. I love yous all. And I'll see you later. I'll let you know when we're going to be live, okay? Bye.